all welcome once again to this lesson on guitar. Uh, Henry Johnson, you said uh, I should do something about progression. I have a whole lot of requests, so uh, take time. I'm on course doing it day and night. So uh, you see, somebody too has requested that I should teach how to play solo over and for ensemble voice or don song kwau sichi and other rhythms. So when we say chord progression, let me use this topic to address to these two issues. If I do not finish, I will do a lesson over it again. When we say chord progression or progressions, it is the chord that a, a song is sang on or a, pro, a chord that is grouped in a certain manner that we can play a guitar, keyboard or sing a song on it. Okay, so uh, in this one, I, as I was playing, it's called Amponsa because do, do, fa, so, do, it's Amponsa. Do, fa, so, so everywhere I go, do, do, fa, so, the do is C major, fa, F major, so, G, or G7. So when we say do, do, okay, so do, do, fa, so, so sometimes you can omit some chords. Solo playing is uh, something uh, you cannot finish learning it, but you have to do rehearsing every day. Because when I, sometimes when I play solo or express myself, people wish, oh, we should do lesson on that. So that's why I've taken much time. We are going slowly to some points in solo playing of a chords. So do we have do chord. This do chord C major. So if you wish to play major, pentatonic, pentatonic minor or minor chord or any scale, we must be focused on the do chord. How do me so Anywhere you go, so this is the C shape, uh, G G. This A, A shape, but the same do C shape, uh, E shape, the same do that is the C, D shape, or D. So, not wasting much time, let's take a look at it. Let's say, assume we are playing the A D shape, that's the last part I play. So, D shape here, like this. So, we have do ti la so fa ni re do ti la so fa ni re re ni fa ni re do ti la so fa ni re do ti la so fa ni you must be able to do this you see solo playing is half best you know the board so let's take a look at it do fa so so do here do you see the fa here and play that's a g f but on g then so is the a shape of playing the g so sometimes please if you do not follow me well or you do not watch the beginner lesson sometimes almost this type of lesson will be very difficult for you to understand so it's better to understand the caged system it's one of my most important topic i want every player to understand so we have do do fa so do do fa so that's the amponza so do So we have do do re mi fa so la ti do re mi fa mi re do ti la so fa mi re do ti la so fa mi re. So any note I play, sometimes I always say this time, this thing. Anything you play, you must be able to play similar or the same. So if you cannot play the same thing, where did you play the first one from? From your belly or from where? 
So the whole thing is to understand exactly what you are doing. Guitar playing is not a magic or trying something. Not trying something. So so do do fa so do so let's use the do. from do here c so we are moving from c we are going to where f metal so if you know the board well it will help you so where we are on the f f which position do we use we use the g shape for this f chord so d shape for c g shape for f then so then A shape for G according to where we are playing now. So do do fa so do C A shape C A shape F on the G shape G on the A shape. That's the main thing I want you to know or understand. So let's take a look at the solo. So we are moving to where far. So so when we have, we have F here. Are the possible notes you have to run a scale either playing two notes, three, three notes, or four, five, six, seven, or any notes number of notes that we wish. So that's the basic understanding of uh, guitar playing. This lesson I will do more than uh, 50 videos because if you are not take time for it and uh, you watch it, but you not you will never get the understanding. So far here, so let's take. Far, 
fa so let let i did this so if you take the f it's do re do but you can see it's still working in the c c c, c key c not it. if you use the c it, it, it has become fa so fa but if you use the f it is do re do do re do if you use the c it's so na fa so fa but you see for fa chord or f major chord so so you see do do fa so do so we are creating patterns for each chord so here this so here That's what I play. So we can uh, twist it anyhow. I can play. I can play something like that. You see, so. Back to do fa so la do I resolve from so I resolve from so to do you see that is what we are saying we are creating so so that is so because do do Fa, so, do. So, anything that I'm playing is following the chord pattern or the progression pattern. So, when we say the progression, uh, I would let me finish this lesson and uh, explain what the progression is. So, here, you see, we have created a very simple pattern, but we are playing the D shape. That created that pattern uniquely. So take your time and rehearse. Rehearsal makes uh, practice makes a man perfect. Uh, rehearsal brings up the good potentials in any musician or guitarist. So you see. I've created that. For do do. So the chords is being singing in my mind. So I'm following the chord pattern. So I know do do fa so do. So you see, it's very simple. I see this is. So you have to get more time to rehearse. If I don't want to play it this way, I choose the do here. I can choose do. So you see, I've choose, I've chosen the do E shape, fa A shape, so C shape. But here I choose D G A shapes, D shape, G shape, A shape. But when I move here, I've chosen C, uh, E shape, A shape, C shape. So E. A C because I've moved away from this position. So here, if you know the board well, you can see we have do ti la so fa mi re do ti la so fa mi re do. We can play anything to represent the do here.
to any scale that you can play. Do, do. You have to finish in a specific time. One note can represent the whole do. Then we, let's try the fa. Fa is, has become what? F chord. But you can see this F chord. It is the A shape. So we have. Do, do, re, so we have moved to the. F major chord. So we have to play F scale. As. You see? So, so let's create one for each one. So do. The door here, let's create something two times. Then let's check the far. Far. So far here, we have the far. That's F. to the F chord or key F. If you move to the F here, it has become so funny, re mi in the key F because do re mi fa so in the key F. So funny, re mi, so funny, re mi. So then we move so so funny, re mi. Sometimes you can choose to omit some chords for the solo playing. So you can choose to play. Then you read. Mm, 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 
So you move around the soul. Solo. So when we are say creating solo, uh, this is important. We we will move to um, uh, double G or don't so and other rhythms as well. So let's learn this important um, here. That's the reason why I didn't play choose to play it here because almost all the time we play C at the next C at the next or C in the G J B. So to, today we've changed our hands to D shape and E shape. In the next lesson about Amponsa, we will move to the A shape and G shape. The next one, we will move to the C itself so that you can see it has become very easy and comfortable working on it. So, let me end this lesson here. So, you are all welcome, Bright Ansa, Samuel, Baini, Augustus, Fidelis, Bonya, Impami, uh, Mr. Dakun, Kosi Dakun, thank you very much. You are one of my favorite. Uh, I cannot discriminate everybody in Gala Renu, uh, Samuel Sega, everybody. So we break for some time, uh, some time now because of uh, some issues I had, but thanks. Uh, thank God I've recovered fully. So today, from today on, once you see two, three, two, three, four, five videos a day, including live videos and others as well. If you have a request, don't forget to leave me a comment. I really cherish the comments. So and don't forget. If maybe if you have a request or something you want us to do, don't forget uh, leave the comment at uh, this comment section, like the video, and I will address it very nicely for you. So let's end this lesson here. Let's jump to the cohort progression. So I wanted to answer it first, but if I say I should answer it first, it will be a very long video. So let's end this lesson here and go and take. The part two that's the, the progression because if you don't know, know the progression we play chord solo everything according to the progression so stay tuned watch for the part the meaning of progression thank you <laughs>